Item number SCP-3718. Code name Brainworm. Object class Chapter. Special containment procedures. The subject is to be contained within tungsten or other suitably super dense material at all times as its burrowing ability is much less effective on such materials. A thickness of at least 3 centimeters is sufficient to contain SCP-378 for approximately 6 months. All direct contact with SCP-378 is to be made only by lobotomized D-Class personnel. Under no circumstances should anyone of higher brain function be allowed within the containment area, regardless of whether subject is contained. <laughs> if a breach of containment occurs, Protocol MX-664 is the only proven viable means of incapacitating SCP-378 and should be enacted the moment a breach is detected. Description SCP-378 resembles a segmented invertebrate, not unlike centipedes or miller miller millipedes. It was first encountered in Mexico in the summer of 19 when the town began to notice disappearing livestock. They recruited local hunters to find the culprits. Of the four hunters that began the search, only one returned over a week later. Quite literally in shambles. Eyewitnesses reported that the man's arms were mangled, but his face and throat were nearly unrecognizable. The man, or what remained of him, stumbled around town for several days, ignoring all attempts to help or question him. When the townsfolk noticed the stench of decomposing flesh coming from the man, they called the Mexican government in fear of flesh-eating disease. When the government got the report, they suspected an outbreak of SCP-008. Agents and containment teams were dispatched immediately. The teams arrived to take statements and incinerate the entire town and surrounding area, but instead, they found a single victim instead of an outbreak. Upon incineration, it was found that the man's skull contained the charred body of SCP-378. Agent <laughs> collected the body and prepared it for transport. For safety, the town and surrounding half kilometer of land were burned. On the return trip to Site-19, Agent reportedly acted normal. He was routinely examined on return by medical staff and was found to have the very same creature he had retrieved inhabiting the frontal lobe of his brain. Once uncovered, the subject burst into laughter. Surveillance footage shows Agent tearing off his own arm with his free hand and bludgeoning the attending medical personnel to death with it after which he simply reattaches it with little effort. Subject was finally halted with judicious use of flamethrowers by security teams. Initial attempts to contain SCP-378 met with failure as the worm cut its way out of whatever held it using three teeth protruding from its mouth. Only materials with very high density have proven effective at containing SCP-378, though not permanently. Its subsequent escapes have yielded useful information regarding its nature. The host is brain dead the moment infection occurs. The subject generally continues acting normal until someone realizes SCP-378. 378 is occupying the host. This leads to speculation that it gains access to the host's memories and other personality traits. This poses a considerable risk when higher level personnel are involved. 
The invertebrate form of SCP-378 is nigh indestructible. All attempts to eradicate it have failed, though fire seems to work well at incapacitating it. Requests to expose it to various SCPs are pending approval. SCP-378 cannot leave a host body of its own volition. Once inside the brain of a host, only the host's death can allow the creature to escape. The reasons for this are unknown. The host's SCP-378 takes have been known to speak, but in a language none of our staff are able to recognize or translate. Why the host speaks acts normally until SCP-378 is discovered is unknown. Once infected, host displays an almost instantaneous ability to heal damage. The cause of this is unknown, though extended exposure to fire is an effective countermeasure. Addendum 178-294-B Audio log recorded after SCP-378's most recent escape attempt. SCP-378 is inhabiting a doctor and has requested an audience, in plain English, with the agent in charge of SCP-378's containment unit. So, you stowed away in one of the D's brains? Not really. Most of the brain wasn't there. I stowed away in the empty space, but that's semantics, I suppose. Given your lack of compassion until now, I take it this is something important. You're astute for a human. Yes, there is something important we must discuss. My brothers will awaken soon. Brothers? There are more of you. <laughs> a great many more. Considering your inability to keep one of us under control for extended periods, I can only imagine the chaos several million will cause. Millions? Why are you telling me this? Because this meager world won't support us for long. With your lack of advanced technology, it might take thousands of years to find a way off this planet once it's consumed. I don't think I could stand another twenty millennia floating in space with nothing to eat. So then, what do you want? I want you to kill them all. I want you to make sure this paradise doesn't dissolve before my eyes. I'll tell you how to kill them. But in exchange, I want two things. Go on. A new host once a week. The inside of human skulls gets... uncomfortable when they're broken in. I like to change surroundings. As you no doubt recall, I'll need your assistance for that. Also, I ask to participate in the act of sex. Of all the minds I've partaken, this seems to be a rather prominent activity for you. Memories are but a glance. If this... sex is really worth all you humans go through for it. I think I'd like to experience it. Sex? Why? Would you ask the same question if I were a normal human? No. Then let us pretend that I am, yes? What's to stop us from using the information you give us to kill you? <laughs> you truly are a primitive race. My brothers may share my genes, but not my physiology. Do you really think I would tell you how to kill me? <laughs> do we have an agreement? I suppose we do. For now, but one last question. Why are you here? On Earth, I mean. Ah. Why are you here, Agent? To stop you. Precisely. SCP-378 refused to speak further on the matter. It should be noted that the operation to exterminate SCP-378's brothers was deemed a success in spite of nearly 85% losses of the teams involved. While effective, the methods suggested by SCP-378 
were terribly inefficient. Subject seemed amused by this. Recommend further study of recovered corpses of brothers in hopes that some method of neutralizing SCP-378 might be found.